Hey everyone, I'm Boy the Gamer, and today I want to talk about World of Warcraft's new expansion, The War Within, and how good it is so far. Um, at the point of making this video, we are just beyond a month of The War Within release, and players have had some time to uncover the secrets of WoW's latest expansion. So, what are the thoughts about The War Within? Write your opinion in the comments down below because I'm dying to know what you think about the new expansion. While you're at it, hit the like and subscribe button if you haven't done it so far because your support really helps out my channel which I'm very grateful for. That being said, let's go on with this video and wonder how good the war within is so far. To do that, I'll take you from the start and into some parts of the main story and talk about the new changes to The War Within. So if you haven't played this game yet and you're worried for spoilers, then yeah, beware of some spoilers. You have been warned. All good? Are some people still watching this video? Awesome. Let's go. Alright, picking your main for The War Within lets you continue from level 70 to 80 and a whole new story that will star over three expansions, starting with The War Within, to World of Warcraft Midnight and finally The Lost Titan, which concludes the World Soul Saga. Basically, the Dark Heart, a powerful artifact, is in hands of the Harbringer, Zal Athath. Zal Athoth? Zal Athoth? I don't know. Basically an evil chick trying to corrupt everyone using the dark power from the void to succeed in her evil plans, meaning Azeroth is doomed unless she is stopped. And that's where you come in. Every hero is having visions and are being summoned to Silithus, you know that sandy place where the giant sword is sticking inside the world of Warcraft itself and where good old Magni Bronzebeard is trying to talk to the soul of Azeroth. Of course, something has to go wrong with good old Magni and you have to take him back to Dalaran where you attend a council to discuss further action. The council decides to follow some leads on the Harbringer and chases her footsteps into the new expansion zone, meaning the whole city of Dalaran teleports to the Isle of Dorne, ready to face a new threat together. Little do we know, it's a trap. It's a trap! Everyone is deceived by Zalathath, now attacking Dalaran which eventually explodes after everyone is being evacuated to safety. Well, almost everyone. Stranded in a new zone, you face new enemies, but you need new allies too. The Earthen Dwarf Race. Thing out with the Earthens lets you explore the Isle of Dorne and Khaz Algar. Two beautiful zones taking place above and beneath the ground of Azeroth. My favorite new zone has to be Hallowfall, an amazing underground biodome with a giant crystal acting like the sun. It also features a great story, setting up Anduin's reconnection to the light. Talking about story, the main campaign brings you to gorgeous new areas that are so well designed in terms of beauty and gameplay. And the side quest just adds more to it and even to the lore and overall story experience. And to be honest, the whole campaign and PvE side of The War Within has been one of the best in years in my honest opinion. I really felt like WoW is finally back. It's for the first time in a very long time I really enjoyed questing and going through the main campaign. I actually leveled up my main from 70 to 80 just doing that, which is very rare for myself. Anyway, beside questing and completing the story, you can also do delves. Delves are like the love child from dungeons and scenarios. It's an adventure for you and a hero companion which you can also upgrade as you progress your character. Delves can be completed in different difficulties being tiers, also rewarding more loot and XP the higher level tier you play. Solo players and casual players are being well treated in this expansion and don't get me wrong, you can still play World of Warcraft hardcore, but again, for the first time in years, solo and casual players get a chance to really enjoy the WoW experience, which is a big plus if you ask me. There's also follower dungeons, which are just another example of all that. Queue for follower dungeons and just add AI players to fulfill the required roles of your party. You can even click AI help on and off if you wish to lead or follow inside the dungeon. The PvE side of the War Within just builds further on which Dragonflight and other expansions already established for World of Warcraft. So yes, expect a lot more of the same events and reputation grinds for mounts, rewards, pets, armor and so on but also treating you on a lot of new activities for you to explore. Not to forget the Warband system, which is now basically a count-wide progression for all your characters. 
PvP is also back with Battlegrounds and a lot of new player versus player activities. Arena Season 1 is live with again new armor and a mount reward to show off all those enemy player skulls you've crushed inside the gladiator scene to claim your victory and show off the spoils of war. So to answer the main question of this video, how good is the war within so far? Has WoW lost its touch after 20 years of gameplay? Or is it still worth getting excited for and buying a whole new expansion and spend your well earned money on monthly fees for game time? Yes, it's worth it. WoW is back and better than ever. World of Warcraft The War Within is the best release Blizzard had published in years. Honestly, I'm loving it. The story, the new zones, the gameplay in terms of questing and just like, you know, everything about the new PvE and PvP is pretty awesome. The level of repetitive has been reduced and I just feel like either solo players, casual players or the hardcore folk within you will really have a great time and experience playing the war within. So once again, what's your opinion? Let me know in the comment section and I'll be sure to get back to you about World of Warcraft The War Within. As always, thank you for watching and see you in the next WoW video.